How's it going, everybody? You're Dr. Reyes, you're and today we have one MLB game we're going to be discussing for the Thursday, June 1st, 2023 slate. But before we get into that, I want to talk to you guys quickly about the top link in the description below. It is going to be a link that will give you a bonus bet every Saturday and Wednesday for a month-long period. So you guys can get an extra bet. Make sure to go do that, as any bonus bets are always a good thing. You get the risk taken out there. We also have a link to all of our affiliate sportsbook promotional signups. So if you guys are new to sports betting, if you guys are just looking for a new sportsbook or just want to try to take advantage of some of the bonuses you could get for a sportsbook you haven't signed up for, click the link in the description. It'll show you all the bonuses that are available and how to sign up. So make sure to go check that out. Looking at yesterday's game, we had the Yankees plus one and a half. And the Yankees bats were silenced by George Kirby, but it was a one nothing game, so we were able to cover the Yankees plus one and a half. Not the way we wanted to do it, but it still counts as a win in our book. We are now 74 and 60 in our previous 134 video picks. We're on a bit of a winning streak, so let's continue that here today. Looking, uh, you can get all my written picks as well as these video picks over at winnersandwinners.com. If you use the promo code H-A-T-V-L-M-N-6-0, you can get all of those 60% off until further notice by using that promo code. Make sure to go check it out. So today we're going to be discussing the Cleveland Guardians taking on the Minnesota Twins in an AL Central battle. The Guardians are 25-30, and 30, they're third in the AL Central, while the Twins are leading the AL Central with a 29-27 and 27 record. Uh... The Guardians are going to be sending Tanner Bibby to the mound. He's 1-1 one one with a 2.88 ERA. While the Twins are sending Pablo Lopez. He's 3-3 three three with a 4.11 ERA. And really the difference for me in this game is going to be the hitting. Cleveland has not been able to really get going. They don't have a lot of power outside of Jose Ramirez. And even when he's hitting, it, the rest of the lineup just does not seem to be able to drive in runs to hit for extra base hits. And all that. The Twins, on the other hand, they have a pretty good lineup. Even with Carlos Correa not doing too well throughout the year. They still have guys like Byron Buxton, Joey Gallo, and Correa, who has shown the capability of doing well at the plate. I just don't think the Cleveland pitching is going to be able to carry them enough in this game. I just don't love Tyler Bibby's stuff, if I'm being completely honest. So right now, you can get the Twins minus one and a half. That's going to be the play for today as I think the Twins are going to easily cover the run line here. That's all I have for you guys today. Make sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you have not already. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.